Imagine a world without carbs. Yes, you heard it right. No bread, no pasta, no rice. Now stop imagining because that's exactly what you've signed up for with the keto diet. This isn't some cruel joke. Welcome to the world of the ketogenic diet, a low-carb, high-fat revolution that's sweeping the globe. The goal? To achieve a state of ketosis where your body becomes a fat-burning machine using those pesky love handles for energy instead of carbs. But here's the kicker. To maintain this state of ketosis, you've got to steer clear of foods high in carbs. That means saying sayonara to refined carbs like your beloved bread, pasta, and rice, and reducing portion sizes of carb-loaded foods. It's not just a diet, it's a lifestyle. A lifestyle where carbs are the enemy, and you're the hero, armed with knowledge and a whole lot of willpower. So if you've been dreaming about that pasta dinner, it's time to wake up, my friend. Ever thought a diet would come between you and your beer? Well, welcome to the keto diet. Now you may be wondering why your frosty pint is a no-go. You see, beer is brewed from cereal grains, most commonly from malted barley, though wheat, maize and rice are also used. And as we know, grains are high in carbs, which are a big keto no-no. And it's not just beer that's off the table. Liqueurs and mixed drinks often contain sugars, syrups, and other carb-laden ingredients. So, that sweet margarita or creamy white Russian you love, yeah, they're not going to fit into your keto meal plan. But here's the silver lining. Not all alcohol is off-limits. Spirits like vodka, gin, rum, and tequila contain zero carbs, provided you're not mixing them with sugary sodas or juices. So you can still enjoy a cocktail or two, just make sure they're keto-friendly. So, if you're on keto, it's high time to bid adieu to your beloved beer. Don't worry, you can always drown your sorrows in water. Honey, we've got a problem, and it's not just you, it's also your syrupy friends. Now let's talk about a sticky situation. Honey and syrups, they might seem innocent enough. After all, they're natural, right? But here's the buzz. These sweet nectars are packed with carbs, and that's a no-go on the keto diet. While honey has its health benefits, it's still a sugar. And just like sugar, it's high in carbs. In fact, a tablespoon of honey has around 17 grams of carbs. That's almost your entire daily carb allowance if you're on a strict keto diet. And let's not forget about syrups. Whether it's maple, agave, or corn syrup, they're all chock full of carbs. They might make your pancakes taste heavenly, but they'll send your ketosis plummeting down to carb hell. So, what's the solution? Well, there are plenty of keto-friendly sweeteners out there. Stevia, erythritol, and monk fruit sweetener are all great choices that won't kick you out of ketosis. So, next time you reach for that honey jar, remember, it's not as sweet as you think. Juice. It sounds innocent, right? But for a keto dieter, it's a liquid carb bomb. Yes, my friends, the sweet, innocent-looking juice is the silent carb killer in our midst. It's like a Trojan horse, all sweet and refreshing on the outside, but inside it's a carb-packed fiesta just waiting to rain on your keto parade. Now you might be thinking, but it's fruit, it must be good for me. Well, here's the twist in the tale. While fruits are indeed packed with nutrients, they're also loaded with sugar. And when juiced, they lose most of their fiber, leaving behind a sugary concoction that's high in carbs. So, while a glass of juice might seem like a healthy option, it's actually a stealthy saboteur, waiting to knock you out of ketosis. And let's not even get started on store-bought juices, which often come loaded with added sugars and preservatives, making them an even bigger no-no for the keto enthusiast. So, what do I drink then? you might ask. Well, water is always a safe bet. You could also try unsweetened tea or coffee or even infuse your water with a slice of lemon or cucumber for a refreshing twist. So, next time you're thirsty, think twice before you squeeze. Welcome to the soda pop shop where every pop is a step away from ketosis. Picture this. You've had a long day, you're parched, and you reach for that frosty can of soda. But wait, hold that pop. Because if you're on the keto diet, that soda is a no-go. You see, sugary sodas are the grand bandits of the keto world. They're high in carbs, and let's not forget the added sugars. It's like a double whammy for those on the keto diet. And no, diet sodas aren't your magic ticket either. They might be low on carbs, but artificial sweeteners can still knock you out of ketosis. It's a real bummer, right? But hey, don't let that soda pop your keto bubble. There are plenty of other refreshing, carb-free alternatives. Think water, herbal tea, or even a nice glass of wine. The key is to stay hydrated and keep those carbs in check. So if you're on keto, it's time to pop the soda habit. And remember, when it comes to keto, it's all about making smart, informed choices. So what's your go-to keto-friendly drink? Ketchup, barbecue sauce, and other condiments. They're the unsung villains in the keto world. 
Now who would have thought that these seemingly innocent flavor boosters could be such a hazard to our keto journey? But alas, many condiments are packed with carbs and hidden sugars, making them a keto dieter's kryptonite. Let's take ketchup, for example. It's a staple in many of our diets, right? But did you know that just one tablespoon of ketchup can contain around 4 grams of sugar? That's equivalent to a whole teaspoon of sugar. And let's not even get started on barbecue sauce. It's a known sugar bomb. And it's not just these two. Many salad dressings, dipping sauces, and even some mustards can be loaded with sugar. So, when you're on a keto diet, it's important to read labels and choose your condiments wisely. Look for options with no added sugar, or better yet, make your own at home. You'd be surprised at how easy and delicious homemade condiments can be. Remember, not all villains wear capes. Some come in bottles and jars. Glazed ham. It's delicious, it's delightful, and it's a keto disaster. Now before you start mourning your holiday ham, let's dive into why this seemingly innocent pork product is a no-go for the keto crowd. You see glazed or honey-baked ham is a sneaky source of carbs. The ham itself? Not so bad. But the sweet sticky glaze that makes it so irresistible? That's where the trouble lies. This glaze is often made with honey, brown sugar or other sweeteners, all of which are high in carbs. And we all know that too many carbs can kick you right out of that coveted state of ketosis. It's not just the glaze either. Often honey-baked hams come pre-packaged with a hefty dose of hidden sugars. And while these sugars might make your taste buds dance, they're doing a tango with your keto goals that you just don't want to partake in. So next time you see a glazed ham, remember, it's not as harmless as it looks. Low-fat margarine, it sounds diet-friendly, right? Wrong! Let's debunk this myth right here, right now. You might think that light or low-fat margarine is your ally in the battle of the bulge, but on a keto diet it's more of a Trojan horse. Sure it has less fat, but here's the plot twist. It's often high in added sugars. Remember keto is all about low-carb, high-fat. So when you see low-fat on the label, don't be fooled into thinking it's keto-approved. It's like inviting a wolf into the sheep pen. The low-fat often disguises a higher carb count, which is a big no-no for us keto warriors. This is why it's crucial to read the labels and understand what you're putting into your body. Light or low-fat margarine might seem like a harmless spread, but it can easily throw you off your ketosis game. So remember, not everything that glitters is gold and not everything that's low-fat is keto-friendly. So there you have it folks, the top foods to avoid on a keto diet. We've journeyed through a carb catastrophe, where we saw the pitfalls of bread, pasta, rice, and other refined carbs. Remember, these are the sneaky saboteurs that can kick you out of ketosis faster than you can say gluten-free. Then we took a chilling detour into a keto nightmare, where beer and mixed drinks were the dream killers. Yes, your favorite weekend wind down could be your diet's downfall, so it's best to give them a miss. In the land of honey and syrups, we discovered that not all sweetness is bliss. These sugary sirens can lead your diet astray, so it's best to steer clear. We then ventured into the silent world of carb killers. Juice and sugary sodas as innocent as they may seem, are actually packed with carbs and can sabotage your keto journey. Our adventure in the land of keto criminals revealed the deceit of ketchup, barbecue sauce and other condiments. They may add flavor to your meals but they're also adding unwanted carbs. In the realm of the hidden sugar villains we unmask the true nature of glazed or honey-baked ham. Yes, even meats can be sugar-coated culprits. And finally, we ended our journey with light or low-fat margarine, the wolf in sheep's clothing. It may appear healthy, but it's often loaded with hidden sugars. Throughout this journey, we've reiterated the importance of choosing nutrient-rich foods and being vigilant of hidden sugars. Remember, being on a keto diet isn't just about avoiding certain foods, it's about embracing a healthier lifestyle. It's about making conscious choices that benefit your body and boost your energy. So, are you ready to kiss these carb-loaded culprits goodbye? Or is there a food you just can't let go? Let us know in the comments below. Alright Keto Warriors, that's a wrap on our top foods to avoid on a keto diet. If you found this video helpful, here's a quick reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. We're always here to help you navigate the choppy waters of the keto lifestyle and to make it as smooth sailing as possible. Remember, every subscription helps us bring you more content. So, don't wait, hit that subscribe button, join our keto community today, and together, let's make healthier choices and create a vibrant, energetic life. See you in the next video.